what I would like for people to know about Zachary, that he was a good kid and he didn't deserve this. The parents of an upstate teen shot and killed by a police officer make an emotional vow to continue fighting for justice. Paul and Angie Hammond's 19-year-old son, Zachary, was shot and killed in July. On July 26, 2015, my son Zachary was shot and killed by a police officer. He was unarmed and shot twice. We were told that Zach had tried to run the officer over and that he had to shoot him in self-defense. Then we were told that Zach was shot in the chest. Something wasn't quite right. We went to the coroner's office and we found out that that was not the case. Zach was shot in the left rear shoulder and the side. We couldn't understand how he could have been trying to run the officer over and be shot from the side and the rear. And we felt the police were lying to us. My husband and I went through hell and back to find the truth. I wrote to the Justice Department because somebody had to get involved and within one day, they opened an investigation. In order to find the truth, we needed to see the dash cam video. We fought for three months to get the video released. When I finally saw the video of Zachary being shot, I knew the police had lied. The video proved that my son did not try to run the officer over and that he should still be alive. It was the hardest thing I've ever had to see in my life. No mother should have to investigate her own son's death. We filed a civil suit and on March 30th, 2016, that civil suit settled and the family was awarded $2,150,000. No amount of money will ever bring back my son. When you were told he was shot in the front right. and then found out he was shot in the back of the left shoulder, right. that meant he was shot as he was pulling away. What was the explanation when you found out it was different than you were being told? Two days after the shooting, we went to the coroner's office and saw the body, and the shots were clearly in the back. Um, we also knew that the narrative that was being uh, put forth in the press by the police chief was false, that the car was coming at him and that the officer had to shoot him in the chest. And Zachary was clearly pulling away. No crime had been committed. All Zachary was doing was leaving a scene. We had an obligation to our client, my client, Zachary Hammond, who couldn't speak for himself. And we brought a civil suit immediately because the, with the power of a civil suit, you get you discovery. discovery. You can subpoena. You get the right to depose. And we noticed the deposition of that officer, and immediately he wouldn't sit for a deposition because he'd have to, have to take the Fifth Amendment. And so you run a parallel track with civil litigation and the potential criminal, invest, right. uh, criminal litigation. Why do you uh, think this happened? I think he was mad. I think the officer was mad because Zach didn't do what he said.